because the understanding comes next class period. So, oh, actually, you know what? I can explain it in a second. I'll explain. Maybe I'll go back to it. But anyways, for this one, guys, again, without understanding, just follow the process. B divided by 2 squared. In this case, my b is negative 7, and I got to divide that by 2 and square it. So I take negative 7 divided by 2 and square it. However, in this case, 2 does not evenly divide into negative 7, does it? Quack. So we got a little issue. Well, we don't have an issue. Do not write it as a decimal. Just leave it as is. We can still square negative 7 halves. Negative, square, negative 7 halves squared is negative 7 halves times negative 7 halves, which is going to give you, excuse me, 49 over 4. So now we just replace 49 over 4 in for c. So we have x squared minus 7x plus 49 over 4. Then the second step, as I mentioned, all you're simply going to do is replace b divided by 2 in, in for that factored form. So what was b divided by 2? No, nope, that's the squared part. Just b divided by 2 is negative 7 over 2. So it's x plus negative 7 halves squared. Or we can just write that as x minus 7 halves squared. Want to see that? And I want to see that. OK? I will actually explain real quick where that comes from.